Good morning, everyone. I am Eugene Lee. And I'm Kaylin Shin. It is February 27th. And this is a new season of Morning, morning Special. Special. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Monday edition of Morning Special, and it's definitely a pleasure and an honor to be part of this program. It sure is. It is the beginning of a new season here in Morning Special. And just like you said, Eugene, a humbling experience or an honorable experience mm -hmm. as we take the reins of this show that reaches out to millions of people every morning. That's true. I have never, ever spoken to such a huge audience. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, nervous, and shaking, but nevertheless feeling... Uh, the honor to be able to connect with all of our listeners. Are you sure you're nervous? You don't seem nervous. <laughs> I am nervous. <laughs> yes, well, I know by experience that the morning special listeners are truly special. So why don't we take this chance on this first Monday and show of the new season here on Morning Special to get to know our listeners. That's a great idea. Yes, today's text mission is introduce yourself to us. Tell us who you are. 네, 오늘의 문자 미션은 모닝 스페셜을 듣고 계신 여러분, 자기 소개 부탁드려요. 문자 참여 방법입니다. 인터넷 라디오 게시판 카카오톡 플러스는 무료입니다. 그리고 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원의 정보 이용료가 부과되는 휴대 전화 샵 104로도 참여하실 수 있습니다. 오늘 문자 미션 많이 많이 참여해 주세요. We have lots and lots of prizes prepared, so send us those messages right now. 특히 개편을 맞이해서 많은 상품 준비했습니다. 참여 많이 해 주세요. Okay then. Let's kick off today's show with the headlines. Parkne 대통령이 헌법재판소의 탄핵 심판 사건 최종 변론에 출석하지 않기로 결정했습니다. President Park Geun-hye decided not to attend the final hearing of her impeachment trial at the Constitutional Court. 해양수산부는 3월부터 6월까지 국내 해역에서 생산되는 굴, 바지락, 피조개 등 주요 폐류에 대한 폐류 독소 검사를 강화한다고 밝혔습니다. The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries announced that from March until June, it will strengthen toxin checks for shellfish, such as oysters, manila clams, and blood arc shell clams harvested in the nation's waters. 금융위원회는 앞으로 후불 교통카드 겸용 체크카드의 발급 연령을 만 19세에서 만 18세로 낮춘다고 밝혔습니다. The Financial Supervisory Commission announced it will lower the minimum age for the issuing of combined debit or check cards that feature post-pay transportation options from 19 to 18 years old. 제89회 미국 아카데미 시상식이 한국 시간 오늘 오전 열립니다. The 89th Academy Award ceremony opens this morning Korean time. So, how are you, Kaylin? How are you, Eugene? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good well, for the first day. It's nice to see you here on the show. Thank you. I've seen you in the hallways, and we exchanged some banter, uh -huh. some greetings, but uh, finally to be on the show with you, it's a very exciting yes. moment. Uh -huh. Well, uh, I hope that uh, our listeners are excited about this new season here on Morning Special as well. And uh, we also have, have some uh, exciting news for this morning, the 89th. Academy Award ceremony mm -hmm. will be held. Yes, it will be held. Um, mm -hmm. Do you usually follow the Academy? Academy Awards? <laughs> well, I do. I don't get to see it live uh -huh. because, you know, it's usually my working hours. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm excited to hear who gets what. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I see. So uh, now let's get started. 여러분 모바일에서 EBS 반디를 다운로드 받으시면 반디 앱을 통해 라디오 청취와 방송에 참여하실 수 있습니다. 케일린 아주 재밌는 코너가 많이 준비됐죠? Yes, that's right. Today we open a new segment titled Brian's Korean Life, where we explore the fun, different, and even odd cultural differences that foreigners can experience from the Korean culture. And for that, we welcome a new guest, Brian Dunn. Also check our website for our Saturday topics. 토요일은 여러분의 사연과 노래 신청으로 꾸며집니다. 많이 참여해주세요. Yes. 
Wow, I think we're getting a lot of messages uh, on our Pandigesh Pan through our text messages and whatnot. Uh, Anji Hinim from Kakao Talk says, I'm a regular listener of Morning Special. I'm watching you on Point and Radio. Oh, <laughs> you look very nice on the screen. I often send text messages too. I'll follow your program from now on. Thank you. Have a great Monday. Well, thank you too for listening to our show. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, then shall we get to our text mission for today? 네, 오늘의 문자 미션은 모닝 스페셜을 듣고 계신 여러분 자기 소개 부탁드려요. 안신영님 from our uh, 네, 안신영님이 보내주셨군요. 네, 저는 직장인이고요. 미스 코리아처럼 이쁘고 날씬해요. 라디오라 증명할 방법이 없네요. <웃음> 반가워요. 아 이게 라디오도 장점이죠. Oh, you're just like Miss Korea, pretty and fit. 네, 카카오톡을 통해서 보내주셨습니다. 봄 개편님, 라디오와 인형 뽑기를 좋아하는 평범한 사람입니다. 유진 쌤, 케일린 쌤, 첫방 축하해요. 평범했던 저의 아침이 스페셜해질 것 같아요. Me too. I think my morning is going to be very special with you, Eugene. <웃음> Thank you. 0675님이 보내주셨습니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 양산에서 라디오 듣고 있는 영어 공부 다시 시작하는 주부입니다. 반갑습니다. 아유, 반갑습니다. Mm, yes, hello to you too. 네, 그, mm-hmm. uh-huh, 손수미님 from Kakao Talk says, Good morning. We are a team of a mom and twins who tune into EBS Morning Special every day. We're happy about the new season with the new hosts. 네, 이상용님이 보내주셨습니다. 새 호스트님, 반가워요. 저는 새 자녀의 아빠며 직장인으로 영어와의 끈을 놓지 못하는 사람입니다. 라푼젤의 남자 주인공이 유진이지요. Oh, that's right. Uh, but you know what? Eugene Sam looks like Harry Potter. Uh, that might be a stretch, but um, if you is say it, so. Is it because of those glasses? It's probably because of the glasses. Did you get them on purpose? Man, I could not either. <laughs> okay. Well, we're excited about this new season of Morning Special, and we'll be right back with the new stories. But first, let's go to listen to a piece uh, by Michael Bublé. It's a beautiful day. All right. Here's a story of cooperation between animals. Mm-hmm. That sounds interesting, but before we get into it, why don't we give our listeners a quiz? All right, here's the quiz. Question is, when people help each other out, they can say, I'll scratch your back if you, number one, scratch mine, or number two, smell mine. One more time, please. When people ask each other, when people help each other out, they can say, I'll scratch your back if you, number one, scratch mine, or number two, smell mine. 정답 아시는 분은 반디 게시판 또는 샵1045 문자로 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원 또는 카카오톡 플러스로 답을 보내주세요. 추첨을 통해 문화 상품권을 드립니다. Now let's listen to the first story. There's a fine line between pain and pleasure. For example, when you have an itch on your back that you just can't reach, it's torture until you scratch it. Then it is pleasure. Sometimes you need the helping hand of someone close to you. Well, it's not just humans who have this need. One viral video shows a little pug scratching the back of a much bigger dog. It is the perfect example of animals depicting the expression, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. That's a very interesting story. Oh, and if you see Puin and Nadia right now, you can see the video <laughs> of yeah. uh, the big dog yeah. lying on its side. And the two are of a different kind. Yes, and the smaller dog is scratching the bigger dog's back. Mm-hmm. And it looks like the bigger dog is really enjoying it. Is it a Labrador? I can't see Yeah, it looks here. like a Labrador. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that little pug is just working extra hard uh-huh. trying to please his friend. <laughs> I wonder if that big dog would return the favor. Well, does the big dog really, you know, have an itch yeah. on its back? I don't know. <laughs> no, maybe it's a massage. <laughs> maybe. Uh, but you said they are depicting the expression, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine, right? Right. So this basically translates to, if you help me, I will help you. So, 내가 도와주면 나도 도와줄게. Or a shorter form would be, scratch each other's backs. So one example is, uh, please help me out on this project. I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, 참고로 이제 scratch는 이제 긁어주다를 의미하죠. Mm-hmm. Could you scratch me? 라는 것은 이제 정말 친하면 할 수도 있겠죠. <웃음> 어, 첫날은 좀 무리겠죠. 제가 케일리한테 물어보면. Yeah, no, please oh, don't okay. ask me. 내일부터. <웃음> That's awkward. No! Maybe, 
maybe after five years. <laughs> five years, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it doesn't literally mean it could actually, depending yeah. on a situation on the situation. But today mm-hmm. it was used figuratively, right? I see. Let's check our story one more time. There's a fine line between pain and pleasure. For example, when you have an itch on your back that you just can't reach, it's torture until you scratch it. Then it is pleasure. Sometimes you need the helping hand of someone close to you. Well, it's not just humans who have this need. One viral video shows a little pug scratching the back of a much bigger dog. It is the perfect example of animals depicting the expression, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Thank you, Sean. Now, can you tell us the answer to the first question? Okay, when people help each other out, they can say, I'll scratch your back if you, number one, scratch mine. Mm-hmm, that's correct. Thank you, Sean. Congratulations to Yi Ryunggon-nim. Before, let's check our text mission. Morning special 듣고 계신 여러분, 자기소개 부탁드려요. You are listening to Morning Special on EBS FM. Now, let's go to the second story. All right, here's a story for those who never seem able to travel light. Ooh, all right. Well, sounds very interesting. Before the story, can you give us another quiz? All right, well, here's the quiz. When something is on sale, you say it is on the one market or number two table. One more time, please. When something is on sale, you say it is on the number one market or number two table. 정답 아시는 분은 모닝 스페셜 반디 게시판 또는 샵1045 문자로 짧은 문자는 50원 긴 문자는 100원 또는 카카오톡 플러스로 답을 보내주세요. 추첨을 통해 문화상품권을 드립니다. Now let's listen to the second story. There's always a dilemma when traveling. Most people want all of their stuff with them. But they don't want to carry a bunch of suitcases. Well, now you can literally wear your luggage in a specially designed coat. It's not out on the market yet, but the inventors of the airport jacket will start selling them later this year if they can raise enough money on Kickstarter. They're trying to raise $76,000, and they still have a ways to go. That's an interesting story. Wear all your luggage? Yeah, so if you don't want to pay to check in your bag or uh-huh. mm-hmm. have a carry-on, you can wear it in a jacket. Yeah, so you can see it on Point and Adir right now. Uh-huh. This young lady is uh, packing some stuff. Now, that looks like a bag oh. right now. Yeah, it can turn into that- a bag and then oh. turn into a jacket. That actually seems like a very good idea now that I see it. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh. a, yeah, it's a jacket that can turn into a bag. Mm-hmm. She's going through security with uh-huh. no bag. Mm-hmm. And then when she gets to wherever she wants, like in her seat, she can turn it into a bag. Wow. Oh, so it's, it's versatile. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you can change the length. So if mm-hmm. you have a little bit uh-huh. of luggage, then you can make it like a half-length coat mm-hmm. or a three-quarter length. Well, you got to be a light traveler, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you take everything that y- you own, <laughs> it's probably not going to fit in your coat. But you said it's not on the market yet. Mm-hmm. Right. So that basically means it's not for sale yet to the mm-hmm. public. Aha. Uh-huh. And so one example is I put my house on the market last week. Mm-hmm. So that means I put my house up for sale. Last right. week. Mm. Uh-huh. So, uh, what's interesting in this expression is the word on, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, if you say it is the market, I mean, well, it's, the meaning gets completely different, right? Right. So, if you, you have to add the word on to it to mean that it's now going to be on sale, Uh huh. it's sellable. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So another difference is for sale and on sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a little confusing, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. If it's for sale, it means it's being sold. Yeah. Yeah. For right? sale is 판매가 되는 이고. And on sale means it's at a discounted price. 할인을 하고 있다를 뜻하고 있죠. Yeah, so on the market means it's for sale. 네, right. 다 같은 맥락에서 전치사가 중요한 역할을 하고 있는 것을 볼수 있습니다. Yes, all right. Okay, so check the 방송 내용 page on our website to check other great and important words and expression. Now let's listen to the story one more time. There's always a dilemma when traveling. Most people want all of their stuff with them. But they don't want to carry a bunch of suitcases. Well, now you can literally wear your luggage in a specially designed coat. 
It's not out on the market yet, but the inventors of the airport jacket will start selling them later this year if they can raise enough money on Kickstarter. They're trying to raise $76,000 and they still have a ways to go. Would you buy it if it's out in the market? I would think about it. Really? Especially if I had a lot of luggage. Oh, really? You want to wear all your luggage <laughs> in your coat? It seems quite convenient. You might get back pains, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now before you go, can you tell us the answer to the quiz? Sure. When something is on sale, you say it is on the number one market. Mm -hmm, that's correct. This is the Monday edition of Morning Special, and we are joined by Brian Dunn. Hello. Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you guys. Yes, hi, Brian. Hi. And this segment is called? It's called Brian's Korean Life. Ooh, all right. For our listeners who don't know you, Brian, although I've seen you on TV, yeah. <laughs> could you introduce yourself? Well... My name is Brian Dunn. I come all the way from Toronto, Canada. Uh, my background is mainly in TV. I, I even studied TV in university, TV and radio. Uh -huh. I started working in TV when I was 15 years old. Wow, what did you yeah. do? I worked on a, a game show. Oh, it's okay. a, a video game show for kids would play, um, you know, Nintendo and PlayStation and stuff. And wow. I, was, I was the judge. Really? You were the judge? <laughs> yeah. Were oh. you a nice judge or a strict judge? <laughs> Uh, I know we've just met, but I'm basically the nicest person you'll ever meet in your whole life. Actually, oh. I can tell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me too. What? No. Just joking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when did you first come to Korea and uh, what made you to decide to live here? Uh, I came here in 2010 because mm -hmm. uh, okay. I've been working in TV for a while, but I'd always wanted to travel. So I came here, planned to just come here for one year. Mm-hmm. But, you know, plans always change. Uh -huh. I met my now wife at uh, the Dejan Arts Center. Oh! Yeah, it's very, it was like a romantic movie. I met her in front of a, a piece of art. <laughs> Are you <laughs> really? serious? Yeah. You just went and talked to her. She was the piece of art. She is ah, exactly. Two exactly. pieces of art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now she's your wife. And mm, wife. you're soon going to be a dad. Oh, yes, I can't believe that. Uh, and... In April, mm -hmm. a baby girl is coming into our lives. I, it's it's becoming more and more real every day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Congratulations! Yeah, Thank congrats. You. Okay, well, maybe we'll talk about your baby and uh, parenting after Absolutely. the baby comes. <laughs> uh, which topic did you prepare for today? Yeah, well, every week I'm going to introduce many topics in the form of a diary. Oh, oh. well, then let's get to it. Dear Diary, Yesterday, I went from Dejan to Seoul in one hour. It was not a dream. It was the KTX. I can certainly say now that I rode a bullet. I just wish traffic sometimes could be as smooth and fast as the KTX. I love the KTX! Oh, I see. So you'll talk about Korean trains. Uh, trains, subways, uh -huh. buses, the whole transportation system. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, sounds exciting. Uh, you have a quiz prepared for us? I do. Okay, our question is, a small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called, one, a shaken, two, taken, or three, token. One more time, please. Okay, it's a small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called one, shaken, two, taken, or three, token. 정답 아시는 분은 모닝 스페셜 반디 게시판 또는 샵 1045 문자로 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원 또는 카카오톡 플러스로 답 보내주세요. 추첨을 통해 아산 스파비, 스파비스 스파 이용권을 드리겠습니다. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about Korean transportation, right? Oh, we have a message for you, Brian. Kwon oh. Suji Nim says, Brian, I saw you on TV. <laughs> you came out on Egypt Charles, right? That's right. I did not realize how big that show is in Korea. I get <laughs> oh, recognized all the time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Especially with your mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> My mohawk. And as people watching on online right now, my uh -huh. face is very unique. 
I have a big nose and big eyes. So people always <laughs> point that out to me. Oh, well, I saw you. I saw oh, that that's show, my mother actually. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's you on the show, yeah. you oh, okay. oh, Look at you in the sunglasses. <laughs> and riding a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you're riding a tractor in the, in the video. Yeah, not right now. That would be crazy. <laughs> no, but yeah. we are going to be talking about some transportation, right? That's yes. right. What would you say is the biggest difference from where you are from? Well, uh, the biggest difference is here. You know, public transportation is really essential. People mm. live very close to each other, and... The majority of population in uh, in Korea lives mm -hmm. in and around Seoul, right? Yeah. So they can build this huge network of subways. Whereas in Canada, people can be more spread out. I'm from Toronto, which is the biggest city in Canada, so things are much closer. But in other parts, you need to drive. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. So there are transportations like those in, in Korea, in Canada, where you come from too, like Toronto. That's right. Yeah, yeah and we have a subway and bus mm -hmm. and train. Yeah. Oh, mm. are there any other advantages that you know, you noticed about the Korean transportation system? Uh, what I was very impressed with, which I didn't discover until maybe in my first year here, uh, is that there's bus lanes on all the highways. Uh -huh. So I was worried. One of my friends was going somewhere on Chuseok, and she said, "Oh, I'm going to take the bus." I said, "Oh, that will take forever." <laughs> But there's the bus lanes, so uh -huh. you move pretty quickly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the subway system in Daejeon, where you live? Uh, in Daejeon, there's just one subway line. Uh-huh. Uh, in about 10 years, they're planning to build a, a, tra a tram. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a bit more accessible to people. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, Daejeon's smaller than Seoul, so... Uh, but they do need more, more public transit there. I see. Uh, how about prices? Like, you know, public transportation in Korea and in Canada, if you compare the two? Uh, yes. Well, it is much cheaper here. Here, we took the subway today. It was uh, Chun E. Beck, right? Chun E. Beck one? Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, in Canada, at least in Toronto, where I'm from, it is about Sam Chanan. Uh -huh. One way. I see. Oh, yeah. just one way. One way. Wow, that's <laughs> double the price. So or it, more than double. More than double. It, it definitely adds up. And, you know, obviously the city's smaller, so our uh, subway network is smaller as well. So mm -hmm. you can't go absolutely everywhere like you can in Seoul. I see. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, can you remind us of the quiz question? Yes. Okay, our question is... A small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called one, shaken, two, taken, or three, token. One more time, please. A small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called one, shaken, two, taken, or three, token. 정답 아시는 분은 모닝 스페셜 반디 게시판 또는 샵1045 문자로 짧은 문자는 50원 긴 문자는 100원 또는 카카오톡 플러스로 답 보내주세요. 추첨을 통해 아산 스파비스 스파 이용권을 드리겠습니다. Today we're talking about Korean transportation with Brian on Brian's Korean Life. We'll be back after this song break with Robbie Williams, Things. You are listening to Morning Special on EBS FM. We are back with Brian's Korean Life. Before we continue, Brian, could you please repeat the quiz? I sure can. Our question is, a small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called one, shaken, two, taken, or three, token. One more time, please. A small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called one, shaken, two, taken, or three, token. 정답 아시는 분은 모닝 스페셜 반디 게시판 또는 샵1045 문자로 짧은 문자는 50원 긴 문자는 100원 또는 카카오톡 플러스로 답을 보내주세요. 추첨을 통해 아산 스파비스 스파 이용권을 드리겠습니다. All right, well, back to talking about transportation here in Korea, Brian. I'm pretty sure you must have encountered something odd or memorable while you took some of those transportation methods. I certainly have. I mm -hmm. have a few stories for you. You want oh. to hear a story? Of course. Yeah, let's hear we a story. love stories. <laughs> okay, well, my first story is about being offered seats. So I, um, I always stand on the subway. I'm uh -huh. just more comfortable yeah. with that. And I, I feel I'm a young enough guy. Mm -hmm. I feel I, I shouldn't be seated if there is a, someone older than me or a pregnant woman or some kids or something. Mm. So I just always stand because there's always more people uh -huh. coming on the subway. Uh -huh. mm. But 
if there's empty seats、mm-hmm. and someone offers me a seat, especially、uh, Adishi or something,、uh, they say, Anjo. I said, No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Anjo, <laughs>、uh, Anjo. Like they get almost upset with me. And it's,、uh-huh. No, sorry. I just really want to stand.、Mm, yeah. I see.、Uh. Well, that's a little bit.、Um, It reminds me of New York because if you ride the subway in New York,、right. you actually, even if there are a lot of empty seats,、uh-huh. you will see people standing up.、Um, it's, it's sort of a cultural thing as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I haven't seen that much in Korea, too, now that you mention it.、Mm-hmm. It's if there's a seat, you're sitting. That's、yeah. why、yeah. people <laughs> run to those seats. I mean, But I also find it very tight. Yeah. In between. That's,、uh-huh. so、that's another reason I like to stay. But it's nice in the wintertime,、mm-hmm. you know, and the seats are all heated up. You get the heating、yes. from the bottom.、Oh, I'm Canadian,、right. so I get too hot. I'm <laughs>、oh, just、really? so hot in the subway, yeah. And also, speaking about subways, how about the T Money card system? Many friends of mine who come over from overseas told me they would get confused.、Uh, yeah, I actually don't find it too confusing.、Mm-hmm. I, I've had some friends、uh, visit me from Canada, and that's actually the first thing I usually get for them is a T Money card.、Uh-huh. Because sometimes they would want to go out by themselves or、uh-huh. something, they don't have to worry about getting one fare every time.、Mm-hmm. They can just load up their card.、Mm-hmm. So, I have、uh, my, my Dejan T Money card that has the Expo Bridge on it. I'm、Ooh. very proud of that card. <laughs>、yeah. Okay. Well, the, the thing that you also have to remind the foreigners is that when they get on the bus, if they just got off the train, they have to, or when they get off the bus, they got to、uh, put it on the card.、Mm-hmm. Swipe、uh, the card.、Yeah. That's right. Yes, to get a refund. Or to get a discount. To get a discount. On the next ride. Ah, yes. I think that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so、uh, what other things did you notice to be different from the Korean transportation and what you used to in Canada? Well,、um, one thing I noticed、uh, when I first got here many people were watching TV. They, this was in 2010, so they had the little antennas on the、ah. phones. But I thought at first it was maybe downloaded shows or movies they were watching. Then I was like, wow, they're watching live TV. And some subway stations are very, very far down underground.、Mm-hmm. Then I saw people talking on phones, texting. Still in Toronto,、uh, you can't do that.、Uh, you, the subways aren't as far underground. Yes. But you still can't talk on the phones.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that really impressed me.、Uh-huh. I mean, Korea is definitely a prime example of what a hyper connected society、oh, is.、Yes. A lot of the other global cities, they look up to Seoul to see. The future. Mm. Mm. Well, it looks like you're going to be taking the KTX a lot now. Yes,、uh, I'm going to be here every Monday.、Uh-huh. So、uh, if anyone takes the, the 6 a.m. Dejan to Seoul train, <laughs> say hello to me. Yeah. And it sounds like you, got used, you quickly got used to the public transportation system here in Korea, right? That's right. But some things still surprise me.、Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you who watch me on u c h i p Charles, there's a scene where I. Buy a balloon for、mm-hmm. my wife, which I love to do. And I used to do that all the time、mm-hmm. in Canada because that's everyone loves a balloon, right? Yeah. But when I took the balloon on the subway in d a j o n I got stopped when、mm-hmm. I got off the subway. They said, No, you can't take balloons on the subway. Ah, yeah. yeah. How, how do people have fun? They, <laughs> you need balloons. Another example. Yeah, it could be dangerous. Cultural difference. That's right. <laughs> yes. So、okay. let's have the answer to the quiz question. So,、okay. a small thing that people used years ago to ride buses or trains is called what? It is called a token.、Mm-hmm. Number、right. three, a token.、Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Ku Yi Sagong Nim. Asan Spa Bis Spa, Ion Kon t r i g i s i n d a Thank you, Brian. Hey, thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm so happy、feel? to be here every week. Uh huh. Yeah, we're very happy to have you too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. And goodbye for now. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye.